going back to work. I, I'm excited because I, I love my job and I'm so grateful for what I get to do, but I've never had this feeling inside of me like I have now that just, I don't have that same desire. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm torn a little bit because I wanna, I wanna stay home and I wanna see London. And I don't care if it's staring at him eight hours a day and changing his god awful stinky diaper. I really want to enjoy that moment and that time. So I'm just a little, um, I'm a little affected more so than I thought I would be. I don't think I, I ever anticipated feeling this way. So it's a surprise, it's like a new emotion. So you think you can dance? Ask us to come back and do the finale. So I'm excited to get back to work. I'm excited to get back to some money. We've taken you know this three weeks off. I've never done that in the 18 years we've been working together. Creative juices are flowing. I'm ready. Let's do it. I'm pumped. But Tabitha, I don't think is quite ready. And I, and I get it. I mean, trying to go back and dance three weeks after you've had a baby is is a lot. How do we leave them? How does Tab breastfeed? How do we choreograph while holding the baby? Is that even possible? Yeah, I think we're gonna have to bring London with us. We don't have a nanny yet. There's no time to interview. I don't trust anything yet. I, man, there, there's just a lot of variables that we're not sure about. And we're excited, but really a little frightened. I'm not gonna lie, it feels amazing to be back to work, but then I think every few seconds I think of London, and that's the truth. <gasps> he, Daddy, so we bad. just caught him talking. Daddy. Oh. Oh. That was it, that was it. Did you say, yeah, he did. Did you say Daddy, Daddy London? Before we left, we did three or four um, weeks in a row on So You Think You Can Dance, and Tabitha was pregnant. So all of those people we shared this experience with, so being able to go back and go, hey, here's my kid, here's my little son that you've been you know, waiting to see for 10 months, I think that's just as important as, as getting out and doing the routine. Could, 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 could we go dance? Is it okay to go dance, London? Let us know. Can, can we go dance? Is it okay? He just shrugged and he said, I don't know. He's like, Mama, it's okay. He went, he went, he's like, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we love you. We and we're all going to dance out of scene. Ready? And five, six, seven, eight. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> that we came up with, the Lion, Lion King theme, lended itself to more tribal, athletic -y movement meets hip hop. And so, I don't know why we thought of that because it was really <laughs> physical uh, for my first week back, but we were inspired by it, hence we must do it. And it's helping me get back in shape. what type of shape Tabitha is in. Her whole life she's been in great shape, but person after person after person says, when you have the baby, it's not gonna be like that. And you yourself are like, I just don't have strength in my abs yeah. right now. It feels like nothing is there. And you start dancing and magic starts happening. It's beautiful. Sure you can't drink coffee. Because hmm? if you could have a coffee, you'd be good to go. I'm gonna Google that, baby. Let me check it out. 
Huh. When I think about the routine too, uh, Tabitha, sorry, we have a lot of transitions to get people out. Like we have movement to come up with. Yeah. Is that something we finish up tomorrow and just get the core pieces? Yeah. I guess so. Or we start working on it tonight as we're going through so we know what it is. You know what I mean? Whenever we come up with dances, especially me and Tabitha, it's not necessarily always what's happening in our life, but I will have to say it is inspired. Whenever you do any type of art, I think you're inspired by events in your life. And London being born is an event of what we're saying with The Lion King. It's like Simba being born. And because I think what happens in your real life has to also apply to the contestants or to the people you're doing the show about. It has to be something that everybody can feel and I think they can feel this sense of competition and this sense of survival of the fittest. And, and when we, we can cross our personal life with what's happening on the show is when, for us, we make magic. There might not be anything in Tabitha. You know, there she is. Bam, busting it on the floor. Here's how it works on So You Think You Dance. You get the contestants literally for two days. One day for four hours in between wardrobe fittings and the next day for another four hours and then a camera block and that's it, we go live. So we have to prep everything prior to even getting there. So we can teach it, bang it out, bam. As I said to you, you will never, you will never get the 20 of you and these all-stars back together on this stage anymore. So when we're tomorrow in a circle, and I saw Tabitha do the circle thing, there is a strength in a circle, it never ends. Your energy comes in. And, you know, is Cyrus crying yet? It's just, it's one of those things, because on Tuesday, as we said, when we do the hugs for the last time, that will be, you'll never get through this again. Enjoy. It's a big night. We are here, we are ready. The dancers are looking good. We're ready to have fun. This is, this is what it's all about. It is showtime.
Here's the bottom line. We want London with us when we're rehearsing. He's, he's gonna be one of those kids that follows us around to every job we do. And we've built our little empire together. So it's weird sometimes for us to tackle these things not as a unit because that's the way we always operate. So I think we're trying to approach tackling, you know, having London in a part of our lives and, and bringing him along for the ride because that's the way should, you know, we should see it. We were kind of excited. We got a call the other day to go on the Jeff Probst show. And it's kind of last minute. They want to interview us and talk about Nappy Tabs Plus One. Emmy award winning choreographers. But now we're realizing it's not that easy when you have a baby. Hey everybody, comment below. If you leave some comments and give us your advice, we might learn a few things. And if you like the show, please let me know. My mom and dad are working really, really hard to do this show. And they're, they're there, they love me. <laughs> <laughs> Can model Lauren Berlin Gary survive Hell Night and become the first woman to complete the Navy SEAL training program? Woman vs. Workout has your answer. Dirty diapers, sleepless nights, and dropping the baby weight. Tune in for new Nappy Tabs adventures in parenting. Danielle Cunell dropped 100 pounds doing CrossFit. Find out how on AMRAP. Do your arms jiggle? Tighten up those triceps with your best body. Ever had so many drinks at the bar that the girl next to you starts looking like Megan Fox? Tune into Health Decoder to learn more about the phenomenon more commonly known as beer goggles. Tune into Health Decoder to figure out why that happens. Want to hear a secret to boost your running speed? Trainer David Jack has the 30-second trick you're looking for. Subscribe for more health tips. Your body will thank you.